Kitty Comic Club. Let's begin. Chapter 1. Ideas. Hey guys, welcome to the first meeting of the Cat Kid Comic Club. Hooray! This is Lil Petey. He is the president, and I'm the vice president. How come Molly gets to be a vice president? Yeah, because I called it first. I got dibs. Rats, no fear. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, Milden. Can I be a vice president too? Uh. Hey, I want to be a vice president. Me too. We can all be vice presidents. Says who? I'm going to be the senior vice president. Oh yeah, I'm going to be the supreme vice president. I'm going to be the triple double secret vice president. I'm the national vice president times ten. I'm the universal CEO of global vice management times infinity. You can't do that. You're fired. Daddy, what's going on? Starla fired me. From what? Uh, um, I forgot. Welp, we're off to a great start. Yup. I fired him from the comic club. Oh yeah. You can't do that, Starla. Told ya. But he was trying to hog all the glory. She was too. If you kids can't behave yourselves, then little Petey is going to have to go home. Is that what you want? No? Then you better straighten up and fly right. Okay, sorry daddy. So, if everybody is done being pain, then let's get started. Thanks, Molly. Today we're going to work on ideas. So everybody grab a pencil and draw a line on your paper. Him and this guy can control things with their minds. It's because when you eat too much of, you know, the psychokinetic mind powers thing. With too much, um brain dots. It's called that. This can't happen in real life. And draw like this. Now on the left side, write five things you'll love. Pizza, bubblegum, squids, videos Katie did. Comics, fireflies, popcorn, friends. Okay, now on the other side, write five things you like to do. Play, read, laugh, draw, write. Sweet! Draw, sing, read, talk loud, be weird. I guess it's because he has psychokinetic powers. Would anybody like to share their lists? Oh, ow, 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 Okay, Melvin, behold. Science, math, physics, dinosaurs, extra credit, and plain algebra, study, brush my teeth, gloat smugly. Actually, that's pretty good. Now, let's all try to think up an idea by using stuff from Melvin's list. He could write about a dinosaur who likes to brush his teeth or a nerd who likes to annoy people. I got it! 
I'm gonna write a comic about a toothbrush named Dennis who wants to be a lawyer for dinosaurs. And I shall call my masterpiece. Ta da! Uh, okay? Now, everybody be quiet. I'm working. So let's all quiet, I said! Okay, well, now that works on his comic, we thought we'd show you awesome. Done! Already? Feast your eyeballs! Dennis the Toothbrush Who Wanted to Be a Dinosaur Lawyer by Melvin the Frog. One time there was a toothbrush named Dennis who wanted to be a lawyer for dinosaurs. So, yeah. <laughs> the end. About the author, Melvin the Frog is widely known as one of the world's most important major voices in graphic literature. He has won countless awards for his genius and awesome humility. His awesomeness has inspired countless generations and stuff. Coming soon, Dennis the Toothbrush will want to be a dinosaur lawyer to Cretaceous Court. Well, that was done. Hey, we don't talk to each other like that, Naomi. But I was just being honest. Do you need to go sit on the timeout rock? No. Then you need to apologize to Melvin. I'm sorry your comic was done. Time out. And so... Worst day ever. Don't worry, Molly. Things will get better tomorrow. How could they get any worse? Ended chapter one, so see you in the next video of chapter two. Bye-bye.